We're continuing to look at Photoshop's neural filters and there are some fun possibilities with the smart portrait filter which I think we should have a look at. Um, so I've got this example of a headshot portrait here and I'm going to open up our neural filter workspace and look at the kind of portrait section here. Um, I've downloaded the skin smoothing smart portrait and also the makeup transfer. Let's have a look at skin smoothing first and that does exactly what you'd expect. It uh, smooths out the skin in the designated sort of face facial area um, and it does a pretty good job. Um, you can see I don't know why you would want to do this but we've smoothed out this person all this person's freckles. Um, I kind of feel a bit weird about doing that but you can see how it's um, kind of like a kind of realistic texture, skin texture um, and it looks quite um, plausible. Uh, I'm going to turn that off however and have a look at the smart portrait because I think this is pretty interesting and fun um, in that we can adjust the portrait using these kind of parameters and the AI is going to make adjustments for us on the fly so we can change things or values that we can adjust to happiness, facial age, hair thickness and so on. So let's have a look at how that might um, uh, affect our image. Um, I'm going to increase the happiness, make, try and make the person look a little younger, increase the thickness of their hair and have them looking over to the left and let's see how that affects our image. And so there we go, that's, that's our example. Um, looks fairly convincing, we can see a little bit of teeth there, we might turn that off to um, compare. Um, they do look a little bit younger. Um, maybe let's try the uh, opposite way. We'll um, have a, a little less impressed, make a bit older, thinner hair, over, looking over in the other direction as much as we can. Um, and that's impressive as well. We'll um, just turn that off to look at the difference. Having a bit of a lag in our playback there. We'll um, just revert that and we might have a look at the expressions in here if we can because we can, um, if all goes to plan, make our subject look a little more surprised. Or indeed angry. So that's um, that's pretty fun and interesting. I'm going to go back to the uh, make her more happy. I think that's a little bit more positive and have her looking over to the left hand side. And um, I think we can, on top of that we could see what the makeup transfer tool does and essentially that really takes the, um, the makeup look and feel from another photo and embeds it into the current Work, working image um, and I've got um, an example here which is pretty extreme kind of example. Um, I've turned it on and I can select from an image that's um, loaded up into my Photoshop workspace or I could bring in import an image. I'm going to just turn that on and it will automatically um, embed the sort of look and feel of this makeup into our um, into our image here, um, and that's yeah, that's kind of interesting. Um, again, a bit of fun. I think it'd be good to have a, um, a sort of a, a, a slider here where we could pull back the um, um, the implementation of that, make it look a little bit more subtle. Um, but I suppose it's a matter of image choice, and I've um, I've picked something that's pretty extreme. 
Anyway, the, uh, the portrait filters, portrait neural filters in Photoshop um, do have some possibilities and certainly a bit of fun creatively.